odds of getting four aces from a deck of cards. Probability when it comes to cards. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. We already talked about the probability of coins and ng dice in an older video. So if you haven't seen the other videos, the series na ito ng probability and combination, I'll just link the playlist right here so you can go and catch up. Okay? Ngayon, it's all about playing cards. And just a quick little plug, if you want to get the reviews that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. That's also where I post a lot of the free links sa mga worksheets and uh, quizzes na pwede ninyong ma-access for free. So, go ahead and like that page for more information, okay? Now, I'm going to jump into yung ating lesson right now. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you better. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung part 3 na ating series on probability. Again, I can't stress this enough if you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 yet. Panoorin nyo muna yun kasi yung mga ibang mga terms na i-discuss ko dito or ibang mga situations na explain ko uh, gradually dun sa parts 1 and 2. Okay, now just a quick little review. Ang probability is yung likelihood of something to happen uh, or yung desired outcome over yung total number ng possible na outcomes sa isang scenario. Okay, so again, ang pinaka-basic niyan na uh, explanation is kung ilan yung gusto mong mangyari over yung mga posibleng mangyari. Now, when we're talking about a deck of cards, medyo mas komplikado na to kasi we're going to deal with more than two faces in a coin or six na sides sa isang die. Um, apat na suit yung ating pinag-uusapan. Pag sinabi natin suit, yan yung heart. Tapos meron kang spade, diamonds, or yung clover or clubs na tinatawag. Okay? Meron din tayong pinag-uusapan na color ng mga cards at yung mga klase ng cards. So, just a quick rundown para dun sa mga hindi masyadong familiar sa playing cards. Uh, ibibigay ko sa inyo a little bit yung visual representation ng mga ito. Now, why does this matter? Kasi, honestly, when I was in high school, medyo naging uh, tricky ito sa akin. Kasi, hindi naman ako sanay na humawak ng baraha. Hindi ako sanay tumingin sa baraha. Pero, pagdating sa probability questions, hinahanap lagi yung face cards, number cards, yung mga ganun. At, uh, kailangan kong kind of aralin kung ano yung itsura ng mga playing cards. So, kung ito yung regular deck of cards, ganito karami yung laman niya. Meron kang yung tinatawag natin na suit and we have 13 cards per suit. So, 13 na heart, 13 na diamond, 13 na clubs, and then 13 din na spade. Okay? So, labing tatlong piraso sa bawat isang suit or meron kang um, 26 red cards. Kaya siya 26 kasi 13 na heart, 13 na diamond. Kaya siya red card kasi red yung mga print na nandyan. And then, of course, you have 26 black cards din. Kasi 13 na clubs, 13 na spade, which brings yung total natin na 52 cards in a deck. Okay? Saan galing yung 52? Kasi 13, bawat isang suit, apat sila. 13 times 4 is 52. Hindi natin minibilang yung joker unless sinabi doon dun sa problem. Pag sinabing regular deck of cards, ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. 52 cards in one deck. Now, yung mga special cases we have yung tinatawag natin na face cards. Now, per suit, you have three face cards. Ano yun? You have your jack, queen, and king. Okay? Kaya siya face cards kasi may mukha. Okay? Jack, queen, at king. Bawat suit, tigta tatlo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pero kang 12 face cards per deck. Tatlong heart, tatlong diamond, tatlong clubs, and tatlong spade. Meron ka apat na aces. So, when the question is like this, what is the probability of getting an ace in a deck of cards? Ilan ba yung ace? May isa kang ace sa bawat suit. So, apat yun. So, kung desired outcome out of total number of possibilities, that would be four, kasi apat ang aces, over yung total number ng possible na cards na pwede mong mabunot, which is 52. Or E, lowest terms natin to, i-divide natin siya pareho sa 4, kasi divisible naman siya sa 4 pareho. This will be 
1 over 13. So, meron kang 1 over 13 chance na makabunot ng ace from a deck of cards. Yun yung pinaka-basic na tanong. Now, sometimes the question changes into something like this. Sabi, what is the probability of drawing an ace from a deck of cards, replacing it, and drawing another ace? So, ibig sabihin nun, sa Tagalog, bumunot ka, ang nabunot mo ace, binalik mo, tapos, bubunot ka uli, at dapat alas din siya. So, ano yung probability na bumunot ka ng ace, binalik mo siya, tapos bumunot ka, ace pa rin ang mabubunot mo. This time, meron ka ng dalawang sitwasyon. Dalawang beses ka bumunot. Okay? Now, again, para din yung problem natin on probability using dice, may dalawang events na nangyari. Sa unang event, ang probability of you drawing an ace from a deck of cards is 1 out of 13. Sinolod na natin kanina, di ba? Na ang probability mo makabunot ka ng ace from a deck of cards is 1 out of 13. Ang question would be, ano yung sa susunod? Now, dahil binalik mo naman yung ace dun sa deck ng cards, ibig sabihin nun, yung cards mo ay 52 pa rin. Meron pa rin apat na ace. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung pangalawang uh, bunot mo will still be 1 over 13. Bakit? Kasi may apat pa rin na ace doon sa pagbubunutan mo at may 52 ka pa rin na cards. Now, ang gagawin natin dito ay multiply natin siya. So, we have 1 over 13 times 13. And ang 13 times 13 is 100. 69. So, ang probability of you drawing an ace, isoli ito, at bumunot uli ay 1 over 169. Okay? Now, paano naman kung ang question ay ganito? Sabi, what is the probability of drawing an ace from a deck of cards, taking it, and drawing another ace? So, ta sa Tagalog, bumunot ako ng ace, kinuha ko siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko na siya sinoli doon sa deck of cards, ha? Tapos bubunot ako, tapos kailangan ace siya uli. Now, halos magkahawig yung tanong, dalawa rin ang events, pero ano yung pinagkaiba niya? Yung una mong bunot, you are picking one ace out of 52 cards. Apat ang ace na pwede mong bunutin, so that is 4 over 52, or pareho rin kanina, 1 over 13. Dito na tayo sa pangalawang event magkakatalo. Bakit? Kasi dahil kinuha mo yung card, Ibig sabihin nun, hawak ko na yung isang ace, ilang ace na lang ang meron doon sa pagbubunutan? The answer to that would be tatlo. Bakit? Tatlo na lang kasi yung ace na nandun dahil hawak ko na yung isa. Dito na papasok yung against sa probability, you have to have uh, good na critical thinking skills at saka dapat magaling ka mag-imagine na parang totoo yung scenario. Kasi kung hawak ko na yung isang ace, ibig sabihin dun sa deck of cards na pagpipilian ko, tatlo na lang ang ace na nandun. Okay? Kunyari, hawak ko na yung ace ng diamond, nandun na lang ay ace ng heart, ace ng spade, at ace ng clubs or ng clover. So, tatlo na lang ang gusto kong maging resulta out of, now, kung 52 ang ilalagay ko, mali na siya. Bakit siya hindi pa rin maging 52? Kasi again, hawak ko na yung isang card, hawak ko na yung isang ace. So, ang pinagpipilian lang ay 51 cards. Okay? So, again, use your imagination. Again, bakit hindi 52? Kasi yung Ace na isa ay hawak ko na ngayon. Bakit hindi 4? Kasi hawak ko na yung card na yon, yung ace na yon. So, the answer dito sa pangalawang event ay 3 over 51. So, again, it's going to be different dun sa sagot natin kanina. So, the answer here would be 1 times 3 is 3 over, and then you have 13 times 51. Okay? So, mas malaking number na yon, 13 times 51, is going to give us 600 and 63. So, you have 3 over 663. Pareho naman siyang divisible sa 3. So, pwede natin gabing 1 over 221. Yan na yung odds ko. 1 over 221. Okay? Now, again, kaya very important for you to imagine yung sitwasyon in solving this. Now, the best way for you to gauge kung nakuha nyo talaga siya is through a quick quiz. So, ito yung quiz natin ng probability with cards. Get your pen and paper ready. And if you're ready, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. Let's start with the first one. Sabi nito, what is the probability of drawing an even-numbered card? Now, yung even-numbered card, ilan ba yan sa isang deck? Now, sa isang suit muna, so kunyari ang hearts, meron kang, ano ba yung mga even ang number sa deck na yan? You have yung 2 card, 4, 6, 8, at 10. Okay, yun lang naman yung mga numbered card, yun yung mga may number na even. So, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, that is 5. Okay? Meron kang 5 cards per suit. Okay? At may apat kang suits, so ito times 4 ko lang yan, that would be 20. So, ibig sabihin na ang dami ng even numbered cards sa isang deck ay 20. Ang total number of cards ay 52. Pareho silang divisible sa 4. Pwede kong i-divide sa 4 pareho. This will give me 5 over 13. So, the answer is 5 over 13. Yan ang probability of me drawing an even numbered card. Number 2, what is the probability of drawing a red face card, replacing it and drawing a black card? Okay, so what is the probability of drawing a red face card? Ilan ba yung red face card? Sabi natin, bawat isang suit meron siyang tatlong face cards. At dahil red, ibig sabihin kasama doon ang heart at saka ang diamond. So ita times 2 ko ito. So this will be 6. Yung first scenario natin, you have 6 face cards over 50. Two. Now, yung pangalawang scenario natin, sabi, nireplace ko daw siya. Ibig sabihin, binalik ko siya. Ibig sabihin, 52 pa rin ang pinagpipilian. Ang gusto ko naman na mabunot next is a black card. Ilan ba ang black card sa deck? Kalahate. So, that is 26 over 52. So, kung paliliitin ko siya, yung 6 over 52, pareho namang even. So, pwede ko sila i-divide sa 2 pareho. So, this will give me 3 over 26. Next, itong pangalawa, 26 over 52 is basically just one half. So, at times ko lang siya sa one half. So, this will be 3 over 52. So, the answer is 3 over 52. Okay? So, yan yung aking answer. Next, we have this. Sabi, what is the probability of getting a black card? Taking it, very important, and drawing a red jack. So, yung first scenario natin you are going to get a black card. Now, sabi natin again, kung black card sa pinag-uusapan, that is 26 over 52 or one half nung iyong deck. So, one half na lang times and then yung pangalawa scenario natin, sabi, you took it. So, ibig sabihin, this time, hindi mo sinoli yung card. Ang pinagpipilian na lang ay 51 cards at ang gusto mo ay red jack. So, ilan ba ang red jack? Meron kang jack na hearts at saka jack na Diamond. So, dalawa lang ang iyong jacks out of 51. So, this will be 2 over 51. So, i-multiply lang natin siya. That would be 2 over 102 or 1 over 51. Okay? It's in smallest terms ko lang yung fraction. So, the answer is 1 over 51. Okay, so I hope you got all of those correctly. If you didn't, pwede niyong subukan ulit, balikan ninyo, intindihin maigi. And as always, if you want more examples, you can always check out yung aking Instagram account. I'll be posting more examples doon sa aking quick quiz uh, sa Instagram story. So if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amaravilla for that. Maganda ko mag-participate kayo para makita ko yung inyong sagot kapag kayo ito mama. At makita ko rin how you are doing dito sa exam na to. Let's use all of this time to study better and I'll see you there. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and you exam din sila. That way, so we can help you. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers, join the live or online review program, you can go to www.pixel.com slash teamlike for more information. Thanks guys and subscribe na if you haven't yet. Hit that bell so you don't miss yung mga paparating pa lang na lessons. We have more coming up and I hope to see you then, thanks, and that's all we always see sa team na ito, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan, I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.